is because we think of God as a noun. As a what? What is a noun? A person, a place, or a thing. That's not what God is. He's not a noun. God is only a person. Now, you see these chairs in these rooms? You see these chairs? Have you seen these chairs? You're sitting on them. How many people have talked to those chairs? How many people have talked to them chairs? You haven't talked to your chairs yet? What's wrong with you? The reason why you didn't talk to the chairs is because the chair is not a what? We do not see God as a person with thoughts and feelings that will talk back to us and we talk to him. Now, my brothers and sisters, a Bible is not a person. A Bible comes from a person. If your wife were to send you a text, you grab the, the phone text and say, Oh, I, now I love your wife. And you start kissing the phone. Is that what you do? All of a sudden, your wife come home, try to slip in your bed. You say, No, no, I don't need you. I have, a, I have a little cell phone. Is that what you do? This is a text from God. But it does not take the place of the person. When God talks to you here, talk back to him as a person. Now, if you really want to get to know a person, what do you do when you get ready to know a person? I see my auntie here now. And when I first want to say, I want to get to know you, I say, auntie, what's your name? And what do you say? She says, Aunt Becky. Now, my brothers and sisters, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever introduced yourself to Jesus? Have you ever introduced yourself to God? You say, oh, I don't have to because he knows me already. But tell me something, brothers and sisters. Is he a person? Does God ever introduce himself to people, yes or no? Do you remember what changed Saul to become Paul that on the Damascus road he said, I am Jesus. If you have never done it before, when you go home tonight, say to God, Nobody else there, just you and God. Say, Lord, I've been alive for however long you've been alive, but I've never introduced myself to you as a person. Never! And if you introduce yourself to God, guess what God will do? He will say to you, I am Jesus. And if you call his name Jesus, he will save you and I from our what? Will you do that to him tonight? And let that be the beginning of a close and intimate personal relationship with God. Listen, the alpha of apostasy was to destroy the personality of God. God in stones, rocks, sticks, God all the pantheism. It was to destroy. Inspiration says the personality of God, Omega, is doing the same thing from a different direction. We do not know God as a person. But if we will know him, he will free us, use us to free others, and then make us a part of the team to finish the work. I want to be a part of that team. What do you say? Do you want to know God today? Would you reverently kneel with me as we pray? Heavenly Father, we have sensed your presence tonight. And Lord, you have shown us the reason why that we are in slavery is because we do not understand identity. We do not know who you are, but Lord, you said you shall know the truth, me, the person, and it will make, I will make you free. And when the Son of Man makes us free, we are free indeed. Lord, tonight we want to experience the freedom that comes from a personal relationship with you. Freedom from every sin of our lives. Lord, we want to have that experience tonight that will deepen and deepen until you come again. And so, Father, I plead that tonight you will open up our hearts and remind us to do this practical assignment. In fact, I pause the prayer. There's someone that says, Lord, tonight I want to raise my hand and show of saying, I want to know you like I've never known you before. God will watch, look, and respond if you will respond to him tonight. If you want to know God, just raise your hand where you are. You may be watching from the internet, but you're saying, dear God, if I want to be free, I want to get into that position, you've got to start out with knowing God. If you raise your hand, God will see you. Even if you're watching somewhere else, Father, I'm raising my hand 
Because, Lord, I'm not just preaching this. I want this myself. I reintroduce myself to you. And, Lord, you are reintroducing yourself to me. And, Lord, if we will day by day develop this, you will give us an experience where we will walk with the angels and be sons and daughters of God. We thank you for what our ears have heard and that this is only the beginning. Be with every lifted hand, I pray. And if there's any hand, Lord, that is not lifted, if there's any heart that is, that, that is not free but wants to be free, move upon it, Lord, because you want to save us. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.